What's happening guys, how are you doing? Welcome to yet another shoe video on my channel. If you're new guys, please make sure you subscribe for all the latest information. We're also going to be covering the Supreme Lookbook as well, which is dropping at some point today. So do expect that video to come. And then we'll look at the Supreme Drops as each week progresses in spring. So we've got these beautiful, rather unique Nike MX ones. So Source Supply have called them Cacao Wow Bot Online. I've seen these being referred to as the beef and the broccoli. So these have come out in the USA already, came out I think a month ago. As per usual, we'll always get the echo of the products. As you guys can see there, you've got that beautiful Nike MX1, which I think is beautiful. It's fantastic. It's suitable for this current cold weather that we find ourselves in. So you've got that texture of the suede and it's that coarse material, which I do like, which means it's going to be durable. And I already got that used look as well as feel about it, which is fantastic. Then you've also got a bit of a mixture. So you've also got the canvas material, which is on the tall box, which is green slash broccoli. Then it's also on the swish on the side as well. Then you've got the different shades of brown as well. Again, they've used the um, different textures of shade of suede, not shade, and what I mean by that is if you look just beneath the laces, just on the side profile there, so you've got that lovely deep brown chocolate, which is in contrast to the lighter brown on that coarse suede. I like those little details. Again, also with the um, swish on the side, that seems to be, it looks to be like this fake felt material which they've been using as well, which rather feels nice when you rub your finger across it. And then the shoe is finished off with the darker U the black for the midsole and the bubble, of course. So also I like how they've had a little play with the hiking shoes. Well, it's heavily inspired by that, I'd say. With the laces, they've opted for the rope laces, which are black as well, which are fantastic as well. So you've got that um, broccoli tongue as well as the brown tag on the tongue as well, which is beautiful. And you can also see on the inside of the shoe from the top there, you've got that brown chocolate which is on the inside. I do love these shoes and I love them for, you know, for winter time that I'm gonna purchase them. These are a men's version. So I'm definitely gonna purchase these and I've got an idea for an outfit I'm gonna buy for it. So I'm gonna buy myself either some Stussy's or some Carhartt or either get myself some Dickies brown or like a tan pair of pants. And then I'm gonna buy myself like a nice neatwear jersey. I've seen uh, a few of them which have got the brown They've got the green, they've got the black as well. I think that this will go really well also with a nice, maybe, I'd say either get like a Carhartt complete set where you get the ton um, top as well as the matching pants. And then you can wear either like a knitwear or even like a black, either crew neck or a t-shirt. And then you can finish it off with these as well. It's one of those that you wear now and again. And what I like about this shoe is it's different from the other MX ones that have come out recent times. The other ones have just been like different colors, but it's just, they've just saturated the market with these LMX1 silhouettes. Whereas with this one, it's one of the few, one of the very few LMX ones. And I think with LMX ones as well, these were the first like, you know, high beast market, if you will, you know, um, for a lot of our older peers. And if you look at the older peers and if you look at the LMX ones, which they've you know, grew in a collection over the years. They always go for the specific ones, you know, the parter ones, as well as the other ones, I forgot what they're called, um, as well as the denim ones with different textures. So it's kind of like a, a geek club where people just geek over as I've just spent there. And with this shoe, I think it belongs in that geek club, in that collection. As you guys can see, I've got a few of my, some of my nice shoes. So it's just something like that. It's a piece of art and I love it. It's fantastic. What do you guys think? Comment down below. It's your boy. And I'm out. Also, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.